Hello, I'm Betty Wolf and I welcome you to another video. I know it's been like a good while since the last part of the series, four months to be exact. I'm rather aware of that fact, but I've been busy because as mentioned in other videos, I have a 40 hour job that I need to take care of along with limited free time and when I have free time I have other priorities but I'm gonna stop trying well not trying to make excuses I'm making excuses that's undeniable so the focus of this video will be on the five apprentices and I have nearly none of the sketching process recorded because of one issue or another the only two apprentices that have some recording of the sketching are the first two apprentices that have been combined into one image and for those two there is also like almost none of the drawing recorded or well none of the coloring process for other issues i'm not gonna get into that this this whole video making process has been kind of a huge mess Therefore, without much further ado, we're gonna get into the process of the characters. Rookpa is a short-haired black rat and red mackerel calico she-cat with blue eyes. Meanwhile, Shappa is a cinnamon and red mackerel tortoiseshell tabby she-cat with short fur and hazel eyes. Rookpa and Shappa are sisters and the daughters of Mellow Fur, and with that, the granddaughters of Ravenstar, because that whole relation is mostly based off of Rookpa looking like Ravenstar in her description so i felt like we could get some good lore behind either of them because rookpa is indirectly named after ravenstar because her name is based on a corvid and yeah that's pretty much it i just hope you can enjoy the little drawing process i do have because there's really not a lot i can talk about because it's Unfortunately, I lost to the void of me forgetting to unpause the recording. So, yeah.
here are the sisters. I featured markings that hint to their names and I will see if you guys actually notice them because I made them very, very vague. But anyway, I imagine that uh, Rookpa and Chappa have a very good relationship, or a sister that love each other and care about each other a lot and just want the best for the other. But we'd now move on to the next apprentice. Smokepa is a short-haired blue she-cat with gold eyes. I really don't have a lot to say about her except that I took some artistic liberties when it comes to the colors because I personally don't like making cats entirely just one color. I always give them at least one or two accent colors so they aren't just one plain boring color because that just can't work for me. It, it's, it's a thing that doesn't work for me. That doesn't mean you have to follow that. It's just a personal taste. She's just a, a plain cat, a simple cat. She's rather nervous, but Smokepaw is really trying her best here. Here's Smokepaw all finished. Uh, as I said, she's a very nervous cat, likely because of the other two apprentices that they are. Waxpaw is a red mackerel pseudo tabby she cat with short fur and hazel eyes. Um, as I already hinted at, I kinda imagine Waxpaw to be like one of the typical mean girls that just bully others because they think they're better than them. And well, I just felt like it fit because most of the cats I have currently in Desert Clan are very nice, but I felt like it was time to change that, specifically with Waxpaw and the other apprentice after her. And well, Waxpaw is the queen bee of the two, so she has the say in everything, and she is the main driving force behind potential bullying because she is just superior to them all, her eyes at least. And here's Waxpaw, the queen of them all, the best. Or so she at least thinks. She is just really meant to be not likable. Much like her little follower, her little something. 
at a bar is a chocolate cheek cat with long fur and amber eyes. Oh, well, that's also pretty much what you can say about her. She's just a plain cat. She is the definition of a follower. If she had more decent company, she probably would be a more decent cat, but she unfortunately chose Waxpaw as her role model and therefore is just a little mean and spiteful person, well, cat, which is not someone you want to be around. Edda Paw all done. She was admittedly the most fun to sketch just from her expression and despite how deplorable of a cat she is to small paw specifically, she is just something I guess. But with that we have all the apprentices of Desert Clan done. I hope you enjoyed the video despite how it is somewhat messy with like no sketching being recorded but I feel like it also just shortens down the time for uh, me to edit these videos because that's the most time that gets eaten up next to drawing. Focus of the next part would be on the queens and the one elder the clan has but for the queens I have something special planned more or less and I might actually need help from you guys with that but um, I will not spoil anything of that until the fourth part is done and we have the queens designed because they are gonna be the focus of that plan. But until then I wish you all a nice holiday, a nice Christmas time or whatever holiday you may celebrate and we will see you then.